So right now I'm gonna show you how we bleed our clutch. All right, so bleeding the clutch, pretty straightforward. Just like your brake master cylinder, you've got a clutch master here. You just pop the cap on this. You can see we're low on fluid because it was all removed when we took the car out. This just has a line that comes up and around here. You got this line, boom, there's your clutch line. It goes all the way down and across your transmission right here to your master. And on the end of your master, you got this nipple here. So you just take this pot sticker rubber plug off and it's exactly like your brakes. So you're just gonna loosen this here. Uh, luckily mine's been replaced recently, so it's not all rusty. I'm not gonna break it off. If that happens, you would have to get a whole new master. So make sure you soak this with some lubricant if yours is not as nice. And then we're gonna attach, we have here, this bottle with some fluid in it. I've been saying this for years. I see people talking about, oh, you can't bleed brakes on your own. You need two people, two people, or you need to buy this $100 tool to do it. No, you freaking don't. You literally uh, just need, hopefully this doesn't spill out on me. Grab yourself a bottle, fill it with some fluid, put a hose on the top, and this way, you just pump it until it's a steady stream of fluid, and all it's gonna do is suck more fluid back in when you let go. So there won't be any air bubbles or anything like that. You just pump it until there's no more air coming through. You've got a steady stream, and then you're done. Close it off. This is all very straightforward, so I'm not gonna go too in-depth into it, but that's it. I basically just told you, just loosen up that nut, push on the clutch pedal until there's no more air coming out while you fill fluid in the reservoir, and it'll It'll be done, so let's get to it. All right, so we placed our bottle here on the floor. We got our hose over the end. We're gonna go ahead and take our eight millimeter wrench and, oops, that's tidy. Don't don't go the wrong way, don't be an idiot. I'm gonna go, boop, loosey loosey. See, pops right open just until it, it wiggles. That's enough right there. Boom, set this aside. Now you're gonna go over here, grab your brake, bleh, your brake fluid. Fill up the reservoir, pump it down in the car, watch it here as it comes out. You'll feel it in the pedal too. You're gonna have to do this until you get pressure and just making sure that you keep filling this and don't let the fluid go below that little circle thing there or else you're gonna get air in it and have to do it all over again, so sweet. All right guys, so we just gave the pedal a few pumps. We can kind of see, it might be hard on video, but there's a little bit of fluid. There it goes, coming out. And just follow your lines, basically making sure where they connect, like back there. And there, that it's not leaking, that it was all tight after you installed everything back. And see if you get fluid there after a few pumps. It's already gone down, so just grab your fluid, fill her up like this, come in the car, and pump your pedal. You just do it by hand. Look at this. It literally just goes with the spring for now. Oh, slowly starting to feel pressure, but yeah, it was dead empty, so. You do that like a few times, come out, check, reservoir has gone down, fluid's coming out of here, no leaks, just do this until you have good pressure, that's full of fluid, and you're done. All right, y'all, so after pumping it a good few times, it's it don't feel exactly like your brakes, it's not quite as much pressure, but you'll just have a nice even flow back and forth, and then you just go over, close your line, take out your bottle, and then... What I did was on the last push, I pushed the clutch to the floor, just left it there, it'll hold itself, close the thing, come over here, fill up your reservoir, put the cap back on, and push the pedal a few times. I just did that and it feels good. I come back in here, check the level, looks good, pump it a few more times, and that's it. That's it for bleeding the, bleeding the clutch, pretty straightforward, simple. When you ask me to bring that guacamole to the party, I'll say no. If you ask me, bring the guacamole to the party. I said, no, 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 that shit's too expensive.